say boys and girls, welcome back to the year 3 English class. It has been a long time that we didn't meet online and due to the pandemic, we are here again to have the online teaching class. So I'm very happy to see you again and I hope you are excited to join our English class. Without wasting our time, please open your textbook and turn to page 14. And we are going to play the game together. Are you ready? Let's go. Before we start the game, let's revise some names of the clothing that we have learned previously. The first one is shirt. Shirt. S H I R T shirt. shirt. Please read after me. Pants, pants, P A N T S, pants. Please remember that there is an S here behind the pants because it's a pair of pants. Number three, shorts, shorts, S H O R T S, shorts. There's also an S here, and a shorts is a trousers that reach only to the knees or tights. Number four, skirt. Skirt. Skirt is the clothing worn by women or girl which hangs down from the waist like the bottom part of a dress. Number five, dress. Dress. D-R-E-S-S. -S, dress. Dress is a piece of clothing that worn by a woman or girl that covers the top of her body and parts or all of her legs. Number six, belt. Belt. B E L T. Belt. Belt is a band of leather, cloth, or and others that you wear around your waist to hold up your clothes for or for decoration. Number seven, boots, boots, B O O T S, boots. And please remember that there's an S behind here because it's a pair of boots. Boots is a type of shoe that shoes that covers the whole leg and the lower part of the leg. Number eight, scarf, scarf. S C A R F scarf. Next is shoes. Shoes. S H O E S shoes. And also there's a S here for shoes. Next is swim suit. Swim suit. S W I M S U I T. Swim suit. Swim suit. Is the clothing that we wear to the swimming pool to swim. Next is purse. Purse. Purse is also the same as handbag or is can be a small pouch of leather or plastic used for carrying money. The next one is necklace. Neck Necklace, N E C K L A C E. Necklace is a piece of jewelry worn around the neck. The next one is tie, tie, T I E tie. Jacket, jacket, J A C G K E T jacket. Shocks. S O C K S shocks and there's an S here behind and the last one is sweater sweater S W E A T E R sweater is a knitted jacket or jersey. Let's continue with the next one. The first one is cap cap C A P cap. The second one is hat. Hat, hush a t hat. Although both of these are used to protect the, our head from sunlight, 
but they are with different name. The third one is trainers. Trainers, T-R-A-I-N-E-R-S, trainers. Trainers is the word derived from training shoes and is the shoes for people to wear during running or other sports activities. So next time you can say that you wear the trainers to go for exercising. Trainers. Number four is coat. Coat. C-O-A-T. Coat. Coat is a clothing with sleeves that people wear outdoors and typically extending below the hips. Means that it's longer than usual shirt or jacket. The, the next one is gloves. Gloves. G L O V E S. Gloves. The people wear the gloves during winter. The last one is pajamas. Pajamas. P Y J A M A S. Pajamas. Pajamas is a clothing that we wear in bed or during the night time. Now it's time for us to start our game. Number one, how many days are there in a week? Say them. So let's count together how many and name the day. There are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So all together, there are seven days. You are correct. Is number two is January. What's the season? The weather like in Australia? So please note that is the the answer is not the season. It's like the weather. So in so you can check your book at page thirty eight. So Australia in Australia is summer from December to February, and people always go swimming and sometimes they go windsurfing. So the weather. In summer, it's like yes, it's hot and sunny. Number three, look at this picture. What season is it? So season, there are only four seasons in a year. Whether it's like is spring, summer, autumn, or winter. So look at this picture, and in this picture, all the leaves have fallen down the. All the leaves on the tree have been fallen down. So, what's the season? Is autumn. Number four, which month is before April? Okay, April is the number four month in a year. So before April is the third month in a year. So what is this month? Let's get it. Correct is March. Number five. This question, this picture that we have learned in the previous slide. What are these? These are shorts. What's the weather like in the spring? So, in the spring, all flowers are blooming and is just. It's always sunny. Number eight is the cool season in Thailand. What are you wearing? Oh, please note that here, this question have mentioned is cool season, and this is the thermometer showing is very low temperature. It's cool. So during the cool season, people's bone. Won't wear like normal like uh in usually in Thailand they're uh wearing t-shirt or shorts during summer but in cool season what will you wear is jackets and scarves to protect you from the very low temperature. Number nine is February. What's the weather like 
in Canada. So in the previous page, at page 38, and you can see that in Australia, in Canada, it's winter during February. So the weather is like it's cool and snow. Number 10, what can you do in the winter? So look at this picture. What is he doing? He go skiing. S K I I N G skiing. Number 11, look at this. This picture we have learned previously also. What are these? Is Boots, B O O T S, boots. Number 12. When's your birthday? Uh, do you know that when's your birthday? Please say it. Okay, my birthday, teacher's birthday is on 7 November. How about yours? The last one is number 14. How many months? Are they in a year? Say them. So let's count it together again. They are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So all together is uh, 12 months. That's all for today and before we end, please take out your exercise book and draw the every picture, draw the pictures of each clothing and jot down the name of the clothing and color it. After that, you can start your game with your friends or family members with these dice. Okay. Uh, I hope you enjoy the games and good luck. Once again, thank you for joining today's English class and I hope you enjoy this class. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.